Good morning, and you find me out for a walk in the Newlands area, not far from home. Why not come with me and see what we can find? Well, good afternoon, and it's literally just afternoon. It's just it's got past twelve, and we're back at home in the Lake District. So we're going for a bit of a walk. Um, I've parked just outside Little Town, and I'm walking first of all to Newlands Church, which literally, if we turn round, you can see is is there is little ah oh, that yeah I have great difficulty with this um camera with it being such a small screen but there we get that's the road and there's the church in the trees there so that's where we're going and then we're going to go up what is called scope back which it's a long time since i've been up there probably about three years when I came down when I was doing the Wainwrights and came down off Robinson and there is a bit of a reservoir so I thought we'd have a wander up there see what we can find and I talked about in in previous videos about setting challenges for myself so the challenge today is to find to come up with images um, that are suitable to be in black and white so that's the idea to just um, yeah just to do black and white so so that's the challenge that's where we're going and um, yeah as I say we're at the church here so we'll just have a mooch around the church I mean, now literally if I can turn around you can't miss it there there's the church We'll have a mooch around, come up with some one or two compositions. If any of them are any good, we'll put them up and then we'll carry on up, um, the, up the valley to this little reservoir. So, yeah, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come to our first composition, I did see this, um, I would call it a large cascade as we were uh, walking our way up, the actual um, reservoir I think is not much further ahead, but this caught my eye and I thought we'd come down and capture some images. Uh, I'll show you the back of the camera for the first few images I've taken, and I've taken a different speeds I put on the um, six stop ND filter to get a half a second I've taken one at the uh, I think it was a 20th of a second and then I did up the ISO to take one at about a thousandth of a second to try and freeze the water the, the problem I've got is the bit of sky up there is causing everything to blow out 
So what I might do, I was trying to get the tree um, completely in the picture. I might just get the long lens on and just zoom in on the actual cascades and try various settings and compositions with that. And whatever the best images are, we'll put them up on the video after this. We're going to head up further on. And you can see where we've come from, that's the valley we've come along. Um, you can see in the background there, Blancathra uh, to the right, and just see the top of Skidder to, to the left. And that's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice day. It's um, coolish, um, but not cold. I'm sure once I start walking again, I'll, I'll warm up. But yeah, as I say, we'll put the long lens on, because you can see you've seen from the camera we've just got the 24 to 70 on and we're at full stretch already so I'll put the long lens on and we'll do some intimate images and anyway we'll see you a bit later Right, well we've made it to the reservoir and we've come up with a composition and we've actually already taken the images. I haven't left the camera on the tripod because it's quite windy but you can see there's the tripod head and we're getting the, the reservoir dam along there so it's a fairly wide angle. I think I was probably about 20 mil or maybe even slightly wider and getting the stream in there which I thought was quite good and I was aware that as we said we set the challenge of get, capturing all the images in black and white I forgot to mention the last one when I showed you the back of the camera I'd got it set to, to monochrome so the the live view is in monochrome which you may have noticed at the time but yeah, no, it's, it's not as quite as picturesque as I thought. There are some quite spectacular looking waterfalls on the river um, coming down into the, the reservoir, but it, it looks very sketchy getting up to a suitable position, so I was going to just leave it here. But what I am going to do, if we just turn round, rather than go back the way I came I'm going to go along and I don't know whether you can see the footpath on this side of um, I think it's Scoop Scoop Beck isn't it and I thought I saw some uh, just some very small old mine working so I might go and look and see if we can see those but yeah it's turning out to be a reasonable day uh, the weather's a bit intermittent um, one minute the sun's shining and you're struggling and then the next minute it's disappeared but that's the Lake District for you 
but yeah we'll, we'll start to head on back but on this side of the back and see what we can find and hopefully the video is quite good this time the last one was a bit the, the one from Iceland people might have noticed it was a bit blurred and I thought had I got something on the the lens or was it just not focusing right but then I realized that there's a focusing on the camera about just one off focusing or continuous and somehow it had got altered to one off focusing rather than the continuous because obviously I normally have it on continuous but anyway we'll carry on we'll put if the images of the um, the railways are here any good we'll put them up we'll see how good a, a black and white photographer I am because sometimes you lose the definition sometimes it can enhance it so you'll see next as I put the images up so we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've come to these old mine workings or old quarry, I'm not quite sure what you can say it would be. Um, you'll have seen the b-roll of the, the bit up there, but as I walked on the path which is just up there, I realised that there was a, because it talked about shafts, and we've got a shaft here um, that goes in into the rock. And there is a bit above, oh it's echoing now, there is a bit above that is fenced off with a hole and you won't be able to see down the shaft particularly, um, but there does seem to be a bit of light so maybe that hole comes in to the shaft and people coming in and out to get whatever they were wanting to get. So I've tried, you can see the camera there, I've tried to to get an image of looking in to the shaft. Um, I have lit it slightly with my head torch just to give it a bit more light, but it I can't remember the settings, but it was something like F8 and it was a couple or a second or something like that to, to get that. So we'll see how that comes out. I might have a mooch around and see what else we can find around here. This, um, that it's just trying to get images that will will work with um, the black and white thing I think that one will um, we don't want anywhere that's too colorful because then it just goes dead if we do the black and white but we've got that image there if it's any good we'll put it up on the video and if we come up with any others <coughs> likewise <coughs> and then we're heading back towards the van which um, let's see right i think um if i put the zoom on and we zoom in i don't know whether you can see the church is just in i think that's the church the white church just in in the forest there and just up there slightly that's little town and i'm parked down below there so i'm not quite sure exactly where the footpath goes um to get back there because i came the footpath i came on came through the farm there and along that way to head up to the reservoir and obviously that's Scoop Beck 
or Scott Beck, Scoop Beck. Um, well, I've put the name up on the video somewhere. Uh, my pronunciation is not the best, but yeah, we'll get, maybe get some more images and then we'll be heading off back. So we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we're now down, off down the farm track back to the church and the van. And it's, yeah, it's been a good afternoon. As I say, the, the weather's, and the, particularly the sun's been, um, sometimes has been good, sometimes has been problematic, but yeah, can't expect much more in the, in the Lake District. So, what I've, oh, and just to remind people, if you've enjoyed the video and you haven't already done so, please click the thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing and you think it's good and it will help other people, please subscribe because that does help with the algorithm. And yeah, and if there's any comments, anything you think is good, anything you think is bad, anything you think would be useful to do in the future, please comment. I do appreciate and a reply to all comments. So yeah, so what about the future? Right, well this is uh, Monday, and all being well this video will be going up on Sunday the 24th. All being well, we should be able to get that done and up. But what I'm planning on doing is some random sort of workflow um, review type videos, and they will be done midweek. I will still stick to the the Sunday with getting out to do landscape photography whether it's in the Lake District or elsewhere but the plan is when I get back and I'm downloading getting the images off uh, the camera onto the computer and geotagging them and um, putting yeah metadata on i thought i would do a video of how i do that i mean it may not be to everybody's liking some people are not keen on putting um oh the name's gone <laughs> putting the tags on everything of where it was when it was but maybe that's the type of person i am and maybe it's the ocd kicking in or whatever but yeah um that's what I was planning on doing. I'm not quite sure how long it will be. And showing the software that I currently use to do all that. So I thought that might peep, some people might find that useful. So yeah, it was going from basically from the camera to getting it on um, Lightroom and some of the, um, oh, some of the, things I use on Lightroom to keep a tag of, of what I've done. I, I, it's not going to be an editing video, I wasn't going to do any editing. So so hopefully that will come out um, next week, middle of the week. And then the plan is for on Friday, before this actually comes out, is to go up into the High Falls and have a couple of days, or a couple of nights, should I say, wild camping. I was meant to be going to Scotland with some oh long established friends but that's for various reasons I got called off so I thought I'll go out on my own into the high falls of the Lake District um, partly because I'd, I'd ordered a new bag which I couldn't cancel <laughs> it's more or less the same as the bag that I've got today it's just bigger for fitting all the stuff in for camping etc so so the, yeah that's next weekend now whether that would just be a video or whether it'll be a couple of videos because i'm going to be out as i say 
um, two nights well, that's the plan so if you watch out that but I must thank everybody who follows and particularly those that have subscribed um, it would appear that this year we've seen to have got a bit of uh, whatever um, clicked with people and I've now got uh, as of this morning when I left the house uh, obviously can't check it at the moment because I don't have any signal 552 followers so I did make the 500 by the end of February which was brilliant and we still seem to be um, should I say subscribers rather than followers still seem to be growing which is good and in line with that the number of views is growing so hopefully that's good and I thank you all of you that have subscribed have clicked the thumbs up have um, commented and that it's a great great help so we'll finish on that note and we'll see you on the next video